Hey Mike, back at you. Just uh, working on this helmet here. Now, as I've mentioned in some of the emails, I've lost uh, a lot of videos. Had some problems and computer kind of crashed and lost a bunch of stuff. So apologize for that. I'm working on getting some more videos out. What I'm doing here is working on this snake helmet. It's always good to have a picture for reference, and I've got some uh, over on the wall here for reference, and I'll show you those here in just a little bit. Just kind of going through and doing some some detail stuff here, and I'm going to show you how I've arrived at what I've got here so far. Kind of steps that I went through to get it. That way you can go back and do the same thing with your projects. So I'm just going in here, I got black in here right now. Kind of going in and going over some stuff, makes the inside of the mouth dark. Now this is a black mamba snake, so it's got a inside their mouth they're real black. Still dark. I'm just kind of going around outlining everything. Now to get to this step here, one of the videos that I lost, so I'll just have to walk you through it and show you the technique as I walk you through it. What I've got here is kind of scaling the snake skin Here's what I use to arrive at this fishnet stocking, you know, ladies' uh, fishnet stockings. So basically what you can do is you can just take this, wrap this thing around your helmet. So what I started with it was a black, because I'm doing a black mama snake, so I started with a black helmet put the fishnet stocking over it. Then I mixed up kind of a, a black and white combination to get the gray. All right, then I kind of went over that lightly, just real lightly. So then what I started doing was just kind of going through some of the curvature. So as the curve was going, you can kind of see here, there's a lot of glare in here, so you're not gonna be able to see all this Perfect. Now I'll take the camera, my phone down here in just a minute, and I'll walk around it at a different angle, pick up some better light, but uh, or less light actually. But some of the curves, I just went on the bottom side with a little kind of a gray, a black and white mix to darken it up. It looks black probably in the video, but it's actually kind of a, a, a dark gray, and kind of give it that roll look, that snake. Um, how they, when they curve and turn, they get that twisted look and you'll have high spots and low spots. I don't know if you can see this or not. But this is kind of what, what I've got. So let me get back to the airbrush here and I'll pull the phone down and I'll go around it and give you some close-ups. So what I'm doing is just kind of adding, I'm just kind of pushing this back a little. I don't want it to stand out. So what I've got is, is a, a black that's over-reduced. So in other words, I've put black in and I've over-reduced it to, you know, give it more of a transparent so it's not so dark black. And I'm just kind of going over, just kind of fogging in. And what I'm trying to do is just kind of push this back. I don't want it to be um, real, real loud, so to speak. I don't want it to be a lot of white showing through because the uh, black mambas are more, uh, they've got some white on them, but they've got a lot of gray, a lot of black. Slightly, now I'm holding back a ways, kind of misting. Now 
in a circular motion. And push it back. This is what I got, so it don't just stand out so much. And then when the clear hits this, it'll actually uh, it'll give a way better look. Pull you up closer, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to do some detailing right around the mouth. So you can see the mouth here, the teeth, and I'm just kind of going around, getting up real close, and just follow the line all the way around. Just going very, very lightly. Follow the line all the way around. Give that dark look. So underneath the roof of its mouth, it would be dark because you'd have a shadow. So when it's got its mouth open, up underneath the roof of its mouth, when it's open, is going to be a dark, a real dark look. doing now, just kind of going back and pushing some of this back. The reason I like to over reduce my black is so that I don't get too much black or really mud it up. Now like I said in this video, it's probably going to show pretty dark. It's not near dark here in person as it, it is probably in the, uh, the video. At least what I'm seeing on the screen of my, my phone there anyway. I just follow the line and I'm getting up really close. So I can also get that really nice smooth clean edge all the way around. Hopefully you can hear better now that was my heater. It's uh, it's under 20 degrees here outside, so needless to say, it's pretty chilly. We got to have the heater going. Kind of going around, clean it up. And I'll show you here in just a minute some cool things that I did. I think you'll like pretty well. Okay, so now I'm going to take the black out. I'm going to put some white in. And I'm just going to kind of go around and real, real light. So I'm going to overduce, over reduce this white as well. I'm just running thinner through the airbrush right now to uh, kind of clean it out. And I'm putting my white in here. I'm going to over reduce it. The reason I'm going to do that is I don't want it to, for one, splatter. And for two, I don't want it to uh, be a real bold. I'm just going to kind of run it through, uh, run it through the airbrush. Make sure it looks good. Kind of test it here on my so on my masking paper where I got black. I'm just kind of testing my my paint, my consistency. So now what I'm going to do is just kind of go over these little places here.
What this is going to do is it's going to kind of make things really jump out more. I'm going to put some highlights. And I am really up close. I'm almost touching right now. Just put some highlights around some of the edges. Not putting too much white. Just getting a few of these high spots that the light from up above would catch. Now I'm going to take my shield. I'm just going to use it for the for the straight edge. I'm laid up next to that tooth. I'm just using it. Keep the paint on the tooth and off the. Uh, off the black just gives it a nice clean look and I'm actually spraying on to the field let it just kind of drift over on the on the tooth See that or not? I'm just going to kind of do the same thing down here on the bottom, bottom teeth. Just kind of got to find the right, like on your shield, find the right edge. Lines up with what you're uh, what you're doing. I'll get some more videos out. I've got a bike that I'm I've got around the corner here. I'm getting ready to do so. I'm going to go ahead and film that whole thing. So basically, the sanding it, prepping it, getting it ready, um, and then the actual paint. It's going to have some marbleizing and candy colors. And I'll just go ahead and film all that. Well, you can see all that. What I'm doing here is just kind of going around the edges. It's just white, and I'm just really, really up close. I'm just putting down a real light pencil line in a few places just to kind of give that little wet look highlight. Don't want to overdo it. The white uh, is one of those colors you can overdo. You can overdo it pretty easy.
this works pretty good is uh, with this white and getting up real close you can actually get a lot of times I'll take my needle out so I can get even closer you can get up real close Don't take much. Just kind of get that, like that wet. So like in this case, in this mouth, I kind of want to get that, that little wet look. Like he's got the venom Dripping out and could be pretty cool. down here and let uh, walk around and give you, give you kind of a close-up look. right in here there's going to be a lot of reflection so it's not going to give you as good of uh view as normal of course we still got more detail work to do this just kind of gives you an idea. Okay, so in the next video, we'll be, uh, I'll either do in the clear on this, probably not because it puts so much overspray out and I don't want that overspray all over my phone, so more likely we'll be uh, either finishing this up or we'll be working on this Harley that I've got next door here, and we're going to be doing a lot of candy paint, marbleizing in the stripes so the marbleizing will be inside the stripes so uh, look forward to the next video i'll see you there have a good day